One extremely useful VBA built-in function is the file len function. You can see it here in this sample file if you look at module one, where we've created a sub-procedure to show you the current file size info. There are two variables, my file path as string and my file size as integer. My file path is a path that takes us to the chapter six folder. Now you will need to edit that as your file path is highly likely to be different to this one. My file size is then going to work out the file len. So that's your VBA built-in function using the file path and then concatenating on the file name. So you can see you could use this anywhere really to figure out the file size of an Excel file, actually not even just an Excel file to find out the file size of any file on your system and then simply message box here to pull out the file size. So we come down to the immediate window to run and we get a result of 15336. That value is in bytes. So you may want to convert that when you start to get some large files into kilobytes. So let's say dim KB val as double, because it won't be an integer value now. And KB val is going to be equal to my file size divided by 1024. And then it's the KB val that I would like to come out into the message box. And then we have 14.9765625 kilobytes. So let's add that on. Let's go space and uppercase. And then just to make it a little bit more user friendly, we can bring in another VBA built in function, and that's the format function to format our KB val so that it only displays two decimal places. So that's a comma, open speech marks 0, 0.00, which is the standard numeric notation for two decimal places. Don't forget to close the bracket for the format function and then return and we get 14.98 kilobytes. So the size of this file is 14.98 kilobytes. So that's making use of the file len built-in function, format built-in function to give us the ability to decide, find, and work out current file size.